मॉर्निंग सर या वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग ए नेगेटिव और रेज्यूम यस विनय कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ विनय शुक्र सर माय नेम इज विनय सर एंड आई एम फ्रॉम केपीएच बी कॉलेज हैदराबाद दैट कंप्लीटेड माय ग्रेजुएशन इन ईयर 2022 इन द स्ट्रीम ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एंड देन लेटर आई वर्क्ड इन अ डिजाइनिंग फॉर वेयर आई नीड टू वर्क थ्रू ऑटो कैड एंड आई नीड टू चेक whether the plan is executed in the site or not in that i have worked up to 6 months where i have faced some issues regarding working hours and uh, and the lifestyle is not too good for me with my personal reasons so i'm here at magnet learning technical skills so that i can shift my career to it side so here i'm learning skills skills like dot net full site development in that a computer c sharp edu dot net asp dot net Okay. And uh, coming to my uh, hobbies, like I do gardening a lot, and uh, I am good at cricket playing. These are and these are my hobbies. And listening to music too. And later coming to my family background, we are four in number: mother, father, and my elder brother and me. That's about. Okay. So gardening, you said. What type of gardening you do? I mostly good at uh, vegetables. Actually, vegetable plants have more flowers. I made a terrace garden. Okay. The COVID time has started actually. It's going on. Yes. So coming to technical, as you said, you know ASP. What is ASP? Why we need to go for ASP? Actually, ASP stands for Active Server Pages, and mainly we use ASP for creating web pages, dynamic as well as static and dynamic web pages. In that, it's mainly the client uh, server side web technology, where it consists of client and as server too. We use uh, Uh, web page like uh, static and dynamic too. When in static, we we can create only uh, we can't use user will be not introduced in the in that in that static. Whereas in dynamic, the user user get inter uh, introduced in, in that self. So it can be called dynamic. And mainly ASP creating web page is using HTML. Mainly it, uh, it runs through HTML. In in any code, we can write the uh, logic. It finally turns into HTML, so it's all depends upon hypertext markup language, and it's uh, web creating web pages is uh, mostly important because it creates the currency as uh, because multiple users can uh, access through this period. Yes. What is ADO dot it? Yeah, basically ADO stands for Active Data Active Data Objects, where by using ADO we can create a connection between front end and back end. Like business logic in the database, like it's MS SQL Server or Oracle, whichever whatever database we use, we can create connection between them so that we can retrieve data from the database to the user. In uh, in ADO dot net, there are classes like uh, command class, uh, connection class, data adapter, data table, data reader, data sets, and there are art architectures like connector and disconnector architecture. In connector art architecture, we need to manually write the open Open and close or will be methods will be followed. Uh, whereas in uh, discrete architecture, it will be uh, automatically taken open and closed. So no, no need to write the open and close methods. And uh, we can retrieve data. Uh, coming to data adapter, it's ca- it comes under a connected class, connected uh, architecture. So we can we can't get the data retrieved. So it converts to DT table. So we there we can get that data in the table form. We can view that. Mainly it depends on the main usage of the ADO dot net is to connection between the database and the front end. So what is the database you are using? We are using MS SQL Server as a database. Mainly. What is the main purpose of database? Database it helps to store our data. Uh, the main uh, advantage of using a MS SQL Server is it's user friendly and we can see tables in table form we can save data in table form where we can see fields rows and columns what is the main uh, dml operations ddl operations uh, why we need to use them where we are going to use them in uh, actually these are used in uh, creating connection between database and uh, logic in that uh, uh, sql connection connection we use dml and ddl uh, these things uh, that's about Okay. So why uh, now coming to uh, 
like ASP with ADO.NET with SQL Server, uh, like how we are going to establish a connection, like if I want to establish to SQL Server, so I will be writing SQL connection and I will be passing parameters of uh, the SQL Server, mm -hmm. like uh, data server. Data source. Uh, yes, I want to. Yeah. yeah the, the, the basic steps should be followed by in creating the connection is that uh, we, we need to get the instance name of the SQL Server what we are using and the database what we are using. And the security should be integrated, security should be always true. In this, we need to establish a connection using data source uh, and uh, initial catalog and the integrated security. Yes. And by creating the. Uh, Your initial connection. catalog is what? Initial catalog is the database which we are using. In the data sources? Data sources is the, the instance name what we are serving. And integrated security is? The security of. Uh, Windows authentication security. Yes, Windows authentication. In okay. case if you are using SQL Server authentication, we use user ID and password. password. Here we, we don't use any credentials. We don't have any credentials. We can use directly in Windows authentication. Okay. It's more secure. Okay. Yeah, it's exactly. So what are uh, what is so why we need to go for hoops? Hoops actually in every uh, technical language or C sharp language, we hoop stands as a main thing. Here we can see the, the four main pillars of hoops are abstraction, uh, encapsulation, inheritance and polymorphism. Every language is depends upon these four. The main coming to this inheritance topic, we can get the details on the child class parent class and child class will be there. We can get the data. In encapsulation we can get the data in, we can bind the data from two different uh, Thanks. Thank you, Vinaya, for giving the interview.